Engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to Excel. Hi. Welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate DC DC boost converter with fuzzy logic control in MATLAB simulating software. If you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to our channel, share our content, comment and like this video. Here we have our fuzzy logic diagram. It has two inputs, error and delta error and one output, which represents decay. Here we have our control diagram. We have V reference, V output. We have uh, the delta or the derivative and we have the, the input error and delta error. From the output of fuzzy logic controller we have, which we call K. K is compared in a relational operator with repeating sequence. The output of repeating sequence and relational operator goes to the gate. The control diagram and the equivalent circuit of our, boot, our DC DC boost converter is representing this diagram. And you see the S, the gate from the, the output of a relational operator goes to the DC DC boost converter gate. Here you have our whole table. You have two out input, as I say. You have E error, which is data error, and the error. You have D. In our next video, in our in our next video, you can go in detail how to the operation of the table and as well how to model it in a MATLAB simulating software. Or you can check the description be below to learn more about it. Now let's build our model in, Met, in our MATLAB simulating software. We go to the library browser and we'll get all the components. Let's organize and change. Here I'm going to put our voltage 12. Now let's get our inductance. Let's change to inductance. And let's change our value. To 160 and e to the power minus 6. Let's connect it to the DC voltage source. Now let's open the value for the capacitance. 27. 276 e to the power minus 6 
Then let, let's take our MOSFET. Let's connect to the, the circuit. Then connect as well our capacitance. Then you have our diode. We don't, we're not going to change anything. Connect it. As well, we just take the measurements of switching. Then let's connect the capacitor. Just organize here. Our load resistor, we're going to put the value of nine. Let's just change, let's change the capacitor to the, yeah. Now let's build our control repeating sequence relational operator fuzzy logic controller with a whole view voltage measurement memory constant scope Display with the measurement. Now this is a mistake. I should not put DC voltage. Go and yeah, let's go and build. Minus here. Let's delete this. Display, right? Scope constant, which should be the uh, V reference or reference voltage. Our memory, voltage measurement. calculate the output voltage or to measure the output voltage this will be V out We'll measure when, when the difference between the V output and the reference voltage. If our memory.
exchange our value 0 0.4 and then there's you can just follow exact as it will be uh, Let's get our max. We'll connect our is our error and our data error and then connect to the fuzzy logic. Then the output of fuzzy logic goes to the operator. The operator and then the script sequence to there. And now we connect the gate, which will trigger our DC DC boost convert. Now let's put our measurements. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. And you can as well donate to us so that we can continue doing these videos. Now let's upload our fuzzy logic model. Come to the we write here fuzzy and from the link below you can check how to model the fuzzy logic control here we go import from and then we, this is a boost here is our model that we already did is error and d and delta error we come inside we see the membership or the, the variable membership as you can see, then we will export to the workplace. Is you can see it's there, and then we come to we close it. This we come to the fuzzy logic, we write boost, it will appear. We just move it, it up. As you can see. We click and apply. The ruler will be the first judge mode is, is being uploaded there. Now let's get our power GUI. Up, let's change to discrete and then let's go through all the components see the values and what in, if you did any, did anything let's change our voltage to 22 
please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share our contents comment and like this video and as well you can then de donate on this channel so that you can continue doing videos and uploading videos based on your comments and suggestions now let's run our system and check the behavior of our system we have the input voltage 12 and the output voltage 22 these are the rulers, view ruler of our DC, DC, no, rulers of our model, our fuzzy logic model. As you can see, the input voltage is 12 and the output voltage is 22. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share our contents comment and like this video you can as well donate to this channel so that you can continue uploading new videos